Uh, just to start off, we're going to be beginning with the Lawat of the Holy Quran. Uh, so I would kindly request Brother Imad Zai to recite a few words of the Holy Quran. Salawat. <laughs> I'm just going to do a very quick introduction into Alasa and what we're about and uh, just to welcome you all. Uh, really, so many of you are here today and the reason why we're here today is because of all of you. Uh, without your support, your generosity, your foresight, your commitment, Alasa wouldn't be here today. And this is the people, the people of Woking, the communities of Woking and the members of the Alasa community itself. Uh, really, we had a plan. Uh, several years ago. It started in 1995 as a charitable organization and um, we developed and renting a property in Walton Road. In 2000 we purchased our original building in Portugal Road. 2007 we purchased Goldsworth Road and now we're 
you know, we're develop, we've finished phase one and we're looking to develop the future phases as we go through. So really, it's just a, an introduction to Alasa. As an organisation, uh, we're, we're a charitable organisation with a constitution and nine trustees. Uh, four trustees are based in Woking and five are outside of Woking. Uh, we currently have three uh, female trustees, Dr. Sabira, Dr. Bilkis Dardani, and Dr. Sadika, uh, sorry, Sister Sadika. So we have three women trustees uh, and six <coughs> men trustees, four from Woking, five from outside of Woking. Um, going forwards, really, we, we really want to thank you because you, as you've been to all our fundraising events, our functions, etc. Really, without that support, we can't focus on developing the future. And our future are our children. And this is the main focus that we have at Alasso is on education and on developing the communities for the future in Woking, where we are currently. Um, so really, I'm extremely grateful, and as I'm sure to all of you guys, to our chairman, uh, Maulana Sadzwari, uh, our resident Alan, Dr. Nagvi, leader of the CEO, sorry, of Wokenborough Council, who's been supporting us, Reverend Cook here, uh, John Kingsbury, who will be arriving shortly, John from Lord, uh, our councillors, uh, Brother Muzaffar Ali, uh, uh, Brother Mohammed Iqbal, and Brother Bashir as well. So we're very extremely grateful for all the support that we've been receiving over, over that time, and we really want to put something back into the community in the long run. Um, as I said, our main focus has been on education, and we will develop <coughs> strategies to focus and build on those. We have a, a plan which is to last us five to ten years, which uh, as the building was being developed, our strategy and our focus switched to ensuring we had enough funds to sit in a hall like this. And those people who attended the Portugal Road uh, Centre, it was really, really too small for us. And I think you know when you were sitting there in Ramzan, we were practically each and out of each other's plates almost. So it was very close and it was very, uh, it was, you know, it was very, very small for our needs. And as we're growing, the community is growing, um, society is developing, we're developing. The culture of our children now is different to what it was when our parents came to this country. And we're trying to facilitate the needs of the whole community across the board. So that's a very brief introduction into Alasa and the primary focus is on education and where we are. Um, so again, thank you very much and welcome to our official opening ceremony today. Now I'm going to request uh, Muhammad Abbas Jafri uh, to come and say a few words. He's been practicing all week, so you might have to bear with him. He's only two years old. Salawat. Thank <laughs> you. 
Do you want to go this one? No, go ahead, Fadu. I'm going to go this one. Yeah, you can. La la, that could be. La la, 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 Okay, thank you for reminding me. He's reminding me he has to say, I have to say Bismillah Man Rahim. <laughs> okay. I think uh, I know where he gets that from. Go on then. Allahumma. Allahumma <laughs> So he has been practicing, but he has been chewing the microphone as well. And, and, uh, and, uh, so, um, yeah, and really the, the point of uh, him reciting is that the focus and attention again is on our youngsters. Um, and, we, and the capabilities and the potential is there for everybody. So it's just developing, enhancing, and give them that support to come on stage and to be confident enough to take that forward. Um, and this, as you, many of you have come to the al Asr Eid parties have seen, that we've really tried to push the youngsters in coming and stepping up. And it's fine for them to make mistakes or to do things differently. It doesn't have to be a rigid structure as we always try to follow and we adhere to. And we're trying to develop and nurture that in future that these things, that they can be the leaders of these communities. And that's the future for us. Um, I will request um, Brother Masood to come and recite uh, a, a nat. Uh, so please, salawat. <laughs> Because anyway, I'm, I'm just uh, giving one sermon uh, for our, from our great Imam, Imam Ali, who we follow and of course um, uh, keep us on the right track. Um, just uh, one sermon saying, a conceited and self-admiring person is disliked by others. Charity and elves are the best remedy for ailments and calamities. One has to account in the next world for the deeds that he has done in this world. So I hope we, we have got enough to, to carry on and um, get rewarded in the next, next slide. Now I had a few wordings for our Imam, uh, who is follower of uh, Allah, the right uh, track and the path, and of course the supporter of our Prophet Muhammad, uh, uh, peace be upon him. Now I saw a Ali, 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 مدح شیر کبریا نبی محترم کے بعد مدح شیر کبریا خدا کے زلجلال سے ملی ہے جن کو بڑھتری علی 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 اور ہی سب امبیسڈر آف آور پروفیٹ محمد خدا کا وہ سفیر ہے رسول کا وزیر ہے وہ اولیاء کا پیر ہے وہ سب کا دستگیر ہے اور دعائے جبرائیل ہے 
وہ جوشن کبیر ہے دعا جبرائیل ہے وہ جوشن کبیر ہے وہ سب کا غم گزار ہے وہ شافعی کے ہمبلی علی 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 وی بلیو دیٹ ہی از نو ہی از گائڈنگ اس ایوری ویئر دلوں میں ہے نظر میں ہے شبوں میں ہے سحر میں ہے ادب کی منزلوں میں ہے قیام میں سفر میں ہے اور فضا میں ہے گھٹا میں ہے نجوم میں قمر میں ہے اسی سے دن کو روشنی اسی سے شب کو چاندنی خدا کے ساتھ ساتھ ہے نبی کے ساتھ ساتھ ہے علی کا رخ جدھر ہو حب علی کے ساتھ ساتھ ہے بیسکلی دس ٹیلنگ دیٹ واٹ ایور دی رائٹ ٹریک از علی اور امام از آن دی ٹریک اینڈ ایون ہی از آن دی آن دی ڈیفرنٹ سائیڈ اینڈ ٹریک از جسٹ فالوئنگ ہم بیکاز ہی از جسٹ ٹو سائیڈز دی کوائنز ہیونگ دی سیم میننگ اتنا رہ سلوات علی کا رخ جدر ہو حق علی کے ساتھ ساتھ ہے علی کا فیض بے کرام سبھی کے ساتھ ساتھ ہے یہی صدا قمبری ترانا قلندری علی 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 قدم قدم نفق نفق شہر شہر گلی گلی وہ حق کی آبرو بھی ہے وہ کفر کی حتک بھی ہے وہ تیغ کی چمک بھی ہے وہ دین کی گمک بھی ہے وہ یقین کا فلک بھی ہے نسیریوں کا شک بھی ہے We don't believe that he is God but he is this follower of God and, and, and Prophet Muhammad but some people believe that he is, has powers which are compared to God which is not what we follow یقین کا فلک بھی ہے نسیریوں کا شک بھی ہے کسی کے واسطے خدا کسی کا ہے مہابلی علی 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 میں خوش پتر علی صدف علی گوہر علی رسول کی صفر علی سفر کا ہے زبر علی یہاں علی وہاں علی ادھر علی ادھر علی یہاں علی وہاں علی ادھر علی ادھر علی اسی کا نام ہے اسی کا نام آ گیا پتا کی بعد جب چلی علی 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 because he was one of the greatest warrior of all times and and we but there's a go for everything now I saw what Thank you very much, Brother Masood, and uh, thank you for stepping on that. Um, just to mention, um, we've been very generously uh, helped and supported by members of not just the Wogan community, not just the Europe community, but the worldwide community. Um, fundraising has taken and gone to all four corners of the globe um, and we've really been supported well by everybody and we really would like to thank all the people who have generously supported us. Some people have supported us spiritually, some people have given up time here, some people have financially donated, uh, some people have been just given us the inspiration and the hope to continue with that. Um, and we really, really appreciate all the support that we've been receiving. We've been receiving, we've got both the TV network channels here on satellite today as well. They've been generously supporting us and all throughout the world. So thank you very, very much on, on, on that support. Um, just one other thing I want to touch upon very briefly. Uh, it might be seen that it's a, well, it is a male-dominated event. And the only reason for that is that we haven't got sufficient space um, to do the, to have the ladies function here as well. If we had the space, we would uh, we would invite all of them. Um, we are in a lot of trouble with the ladies, by the way, because they, the ladies alone, raised over twenty thousand pounds towards Alasar, um, holding various events. So, 
it is, it is a little bit unfair, and I, we can see that, so that's there. But I'm sure the ladies will more than make up for it in, the, in one of their own events, which will probably be a lot better than probably our event, um, and they would have more fun than us, etc. So I'm sure they will do well for themselves on that side, but I just wanted to touch upon that. Um, without further ado, I would request um, Canon Richard Cook, who's the chairman of Woken People of Faith, and who's been supporting us uh, for many years, who initially gave us uh, an endorsement when we launched in 2007 and he, he appeared in our leaflet at uh, that time. Um, we would like uh, Canon Richard Cook come to say a few words. Thank you very much. Salawat. Bruce Ron, thank you very much for your uh, kind words and thank you for the invitation. Dr. Nakvi for coming for today. Um, today, I can see, obviously, a dream has come true and a promise has been fulfilled. Um, our own church, I'm the vicar of Goldsworth Park, uh, which is next to Waitrose, uh, we are celebrating the 25th anniversary of the opening of St. Andrew's Church later this year. So maybe I'll be sending out invitations to you to come along to that in, in October. But uh, we all know, don't we, that uh, it takes a lot of hard work, and this one has uh, referred to that, the hard work of turning a dream into a reality. Lovely to have the brochure and the pictures, but actually now here we are. Um, long weeks, months, years, many people have contributed in different ways, as Rizwan has pointed out. And um, today we celebrate with everybody who has played a part. But because I know a little bit about the history of this building, or rather the building that you bought, it's very interesting that actually your dream built on an earlier dream, an earlier vision. <coughs> The first builders of uh, the building on uh, Goldsworth Road were a Christian group from Horsell, godly people, who wanted to bring God's light and <coughs> love to those in darkness and need. Welcome the senior people. But now, and it's uh, one of the great things that we see in our day, another group of godly people from Alassa wanting to make a difference in the community uh, for the good of all. Not wanting to build this place so that only those of the al community benefit, but actually by investing in this community for the good of everybody. And I just reflect as a Church of England vicar in a society where so many people live without the knowledge of God, where me, is at the center of their universe, it's so important that we have here a community of people who wish to be God-focused. But in our scriptures, there are many references to the ways in which God's prophets spoke in days gone by. And one of the prophets that I want to refer to is the prophet Joel, who said that in the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, and young and old, men and women, will see visions and dream dreams. And this has been part of your dream, and God has helped you to see it through. But as Christians, we believe that we are in the last days, and that we need to be prepared for eternity. And God is giving, and I notice this increasingly, to people like me and people like you, dreams and visions of what the future may hold to help us to prepare for the fulfillment of all things. And I would be intrigued to know if there are any in this community who regularly have a sense of God giving them a dream, a vision of what God is saying to you. Because I believe that God is a God who speaks to people <coughs> like us so that we can listen and then act on it, not for our own benefit, but for his glory and for the benefit of other people. So I was delighted that uh, you quoted earlier about um, Jesus coming to lead us into the Sarata Mustaqim, the, the straight path. 
And uh, my prayer, your prayer would be that God open our eyes to see that path, that we may follow it faithfully in the way that God leads us. So congratulations today and thank you so much for the privilege of being here with you. And I have a gift from my former boss. He's just retired. You can see a picture here of uh, Rowan Williams, the uh, former Archbishop of Canterbury. And he gave a lecture and this has been translated into Urdu. And uh, I can't read it, so I will need you to interpret what my boss has said when he was preaching, I think, in Lahore some time ago. Best wishes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Richard Pitt. And we appreciate your continued support with Alasa, and we hope to work with you in the future through the Woking People of Faith and other platforms that we, we may all sit on together um, as members of this community. Um, I'd just like to request, uh, actually, I'd just like to make an apology for uh, Maulana Hashmi, uh, who's the Imam at Shah Jahan Mosque. He was, we did request for him to come and speak here today. Uh, but he's uh, blessed and he's gone to Umrah, um, so he can't be with us uh, on that basis. So I, I do give his apology here today. Um, could I request Haji um, Nawaz, please, to come and recite uh, your nut? Um, and he's, he's, always, he's come to a few of our events and, and recited also, so we appreciate that. A uh, big, loud salawat. Um, <laughs> जहाँ जिक्र हबीब होता है, खुद खुदा भी करीब होता है, और जिसे चाहा उसे नवाज दिया, जिसे चाहा उसे नवाज दिया। अपना अपना नसीब होता है सबल कर पड़िये सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि कया रसूल अल्लाह वा सल्लम अलैहि कया दो से दो शेर सिर्फ अरबी सॉरी है उर्दू और दो शेर पंजाबी में पढ़ेंगे इंशाअल्लाह मेरे आकादा हुसनो जमाल सुबहान अल्लाह सब मिलकर सुबहान अल्लाह सुबहान अल्लाह नहीं सोने नहीं सोने नहीं सोने दी कोई मिसाल सुबहान अल्लाह सुबहान अल्लाह सुबहान अल्लाह सुबहान अल्लाह असे करना ये आकादा मिलके से कर जड़ा चांदा ये जन्नत चे पावे शजर असे करना ये आकादा मिलके से कर जड़ा चांदा ये जन्नत चे पावे शजर पावे शजर ओ मिलके ओ मिलके ओ मिलके कवे मेरे नाल सुबहान अल्लाह सुबहान अल्लाह सुबहान अल्लाह सुबहान अल्लाह जिन्ना का बेदी छत ते वी दित्ती अजान जिन्ना का बेदी छत ते वी दित्ती अजान ओ दी सारे होलामा चो वखरी शान जिन्ना का बेदी छत ते वी दित्ती अजान ओ दी सारे गुलामा चो वक्री ये शान वक्री ये शान मेरे आका मेरे आका दा आशिक बिलाल सुबहान अल्लाह सुबहान अल्लाह सुबहान अल्लाह सुबहान अल्लाह जिद्दे जिक्र नुकीता बोलंद खुदा ने 
ਜਿਦੇ ਜ਼ਿਕਰ ਨੂੰ ਕੀਤਾ ਬੁਲੰਦ ਖੁਦਾ ਨੇ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਕੌਣ ਘਟਾਵੇ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਕੌਣ ਮਿਟਾਵੇ ਜਿਦੇ ਜ਼ਿਕਰ ਨੂੰ ਕੀਤਾ ਬੁਲੰਦ ਖੁਦਾ ਨੇ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਕੌਣ ਘਟਾਵੇ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਕੌਣ ਮਿਟਾਵੇ ਕੌਣ ਮਿਟਾਵੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਐਡੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਐਡੀ ਕਿਸੇ ਦੀ ਮਜਾਲ ਸੁਬਹਾਨ ਅੱਲਾ ਸੁਬਹਾਨ ਅੱਲਾ ਸੁਬਹਾਨ ਅੱਲਾ ਉਦੋਂ ਤੱਕ ਸਰ ਮਾਸ਼ਾਅੱਲਾ ਮਾਸ਼ਾਅੱਲਾ ਸੱਲਲਾਹੁ ਅਲੈਕਾ ਯਾ ਰਸੂਲ ਅੱਲਾ ਵਸਲਮ ਦੋ ਜਹਾਂ ਕੇ ਵਾਲੀ ਕਾ ਦੋ ਜਹਾਂ ਪੇ ਸਾਇਆ ਹੈ ਦੋ ਜਹਾਂ ਕੇ ਵਾਲੀ ਕਾ ਦੋ ਜਹਾਂ ਪੇ ਸਾਇਆ ਹੈ ਉਨ ਕੋ ਤੋ ਖੁਦਾ ਨੇ ਉਨ ਕੀ ਮਰਜ਼ੀ ਸੇ ਬਣਾਇਆ ਹੈ ਨੂਰੀ ਨੂਰੀ ਤਲਵੇ ਹੈ ਕੈਸੇ ਪਿਆਰੇ ਜਲਵੇ ਹੈ ਨੂਰੀ ਨੂਰੀ ਤਲਵੇ ਹੈ ਕੈਸੇ ਪਿਆਰੇ ਜਲਵੇ ਜਿਨ ਕੇ ਜਲਵੋ ਕੀ ਪੀਕ ਲੈਣ ਆਇਆ ਹੈ ਚਾਂਦ ਜਿਨ ਕੇ ਜਲਵੋ ਕੀ ਪੀਕ ਲੈਣ ਆਇਆ ਹੈ ਦੋ ਜਹਾਂ ਕੇ ਵਾਲੀ ਕਾ ਦੋ ਜਹਾਂ ਪੇ ਸਾ here today the uh, leader of uh, the council uh, councillor John Kingsbury uh, who's been an avid supporter of Alassa in the past and could I request him to come and take the seat please thank you
you very much. Um, thank you very much for everybody attending again. Uh, I would like to request uh, Brother Ali Abbas Rizvi uh, to deliver a short speech. And Ali Abbas Rizvi has, uh, he knows the youth of this community exceptionally well. He has, over the uh, last few years, come on uh, a Friday night, on the last Friday of every month, uh, to deliver English lectures, um, to get the youth uh, speaking amongst themselves, also to make sure that our youth don't go out um, on a Friday night, on a payday. So we're trying to encourage uh, more... Uh, yeah, I can see one of the guys laughing at the back to me. Don't worry, this is aimed at you, Bilal. <laughs> So, uh, but it's, no, it's been really, really good to have a, a, a Maulana who is very much on the, on the level with the youth, who speaks with the youth, who interacts with the youth, who knows the language of the youth and speaks fluently and in private, he has a trust of the youth. Um, so could I ask uh, Maulana Ali Abbas Rizvi, who's also uh, Joint Secretary, I believe, of Majid Soleiman Shia, to come and deliver his short discussion or lecture. <laughs> Salawat. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala al-tahirin. I've been instructed by our president just to talk five minutes very briefly, so this was five minutes before he told me that I had five minutes. <laughs> but nevertheless, it gives me great pleasure to be here with you today and first and foremost, uh, sincerely to appreciate the fact that you guys have come together to form such a good-looking, really, center. Uh, the interfaith work which you're doing is something which is part of our ethos. Just going to give you a bit of an introduction to who we are and what we do for those people who are new to the center. We are Majlis Ulama Shia Europe, so we represent and unite all of the Shia Muslims in Europe on one platform. What this means is that we have affiliate members, one of which is Woking, and we have 70 centers within the UK. The Dr. Bartonapu is also part of our cabinet. And one of our drives is for interfaith. So in the last two years within our presidency, we have done a lot of work in intrafaith, bringing together the various denominations within Islam, also with Dr. Rowan as well. And if I'm not mistaken, probably Rana Khan translated that. Uh, as well as that, we've worked efficiently with Europe and we work with the uh, EU and the European Parliament. In July, we were invited to the high-level meeting at the invitation of President Barroso and President Van Rompuy. So we've, in the last two years, done significant work interfaith-wise, whether it's with the Jewish community, with the Christian community, with the Hindus, with the Sikhs, or just across the board. And with this, one of our ethos is the fact that we are pushing towards integration with the wider communities to educate the wider community about what Islam really is to move and to remove those misconceptions. As Amir al-Mu'minin salam says, he says that <laughs> many a time we build fears of those things we don't know about. So the best way to remove fears and misconception is to really integrate and to educate oneself. And this is exactly what our ethos has been for the last two years. So in terms of our external policy, we are working to integrate with the local communities, the local councils. Uh, we've delivered many lectures in the House of Lords, both in the Commons, we've been part of different committees. So essentially, we feel that what Woking has done, especially by inviting the wider community and creating a community center, is going to be beneficial for not just our youth, but for the wider youth. At the end of the day, we are residents of Woking, or you are residents of Woking, and we're residents of Greater London and the United Kingdom. Our responsibility, therefore, is to the whole unit. And that includes tomorrow when our children grow up, they will be integrating with the societies around us. So it is important for us to have a leading role when it comes to integration. And I feel that this center marks the beginning of that. Even though you have been doing a lot of good interfaith work, but I do believe with the coming of this center, as beautiful as it is, with the facilities that it has, I believe this is the beginning of us integrating within the community and within the various religious denominations and sects. 
That's all really I wanted to say. But again, congratulations, and I'm going to hand the mic back to Rizwan. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, brother Ali Reza Rizwi, for that. Ali Abbas Rizwi, sorry. Um, I would just like to, to develop on, on that uh, and, and say, again, the focus is on the youth, as always. And this is the future of any, any community, the focus is the youth. And now I will request uh, a young uh, member of Al-Asr, uh, Chaudhry Hasnay, who's going to come and recite a poem. Um, so can Chaudhry Hasnay come and recite a poem, please? Allow salawat, please. to thank everyone for all their hard work and dedication. Um, we would like to now recite an art. Some children are starting to be getting a, bit, a little bit too confident, uh, walking around all over my stage at the front here. Um, just uh, could I request um, the Chief Executive of Woker Borough Council, uh, Mr. Ray Morgan, to come and deliver uh, his few words on al uh, Salawat, please. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I can't say ladies, can I, because they're not here. But I had that explained to me. <laughs> he was very worried having to explain that to me because I have given him many, many times about the importance of embracing the whole community. But uh, thank you for inviting me. Um, it is also dangerous to follow children. It's amazing how well they do, uh, even if they want to dominate the stage slightly more. Uh, what I just want to spend a little bit of time doing is, because the Leader of Council is speaking after me, but, um, is just to talk about your own motto, your own ambition. And I came here when you first uh, acquired the room. Uh, I think it was the room. I think would be a way to describe it. Um, and I just want to talk first about, about the, the truth 
of, uh, as your motto, as your, as your agenda. And I think the whole point about interfaith, the wideness of embracing all, uh, remembering that Islam was the first religion to promote education of women, inclusion of women as equals. Uh, it is important to recognize it is only men that has written the words that suggest that women are not equal. They are not God's words, they are not the prophet's words, they are cultural behaviors of men through all faiths seeking to control property and particularly lower the sectors of women and treat them more as property. I think it is great news that you will work harder towards that message. You're teaching that to your young people. And that the truth of that message is a message from God and for all faiths. And not man's interpretation of God's message. It is usually being politically corrupted through all religions, through all time. And your former boss, sir, I mentioned that to him. And much to the uh, shock of the rest of the clergy gathered, he agreed. The Christianity had suffered the same fate that you have of men who politically manipulated the message of your prophet and that of God to their own ends. And the important thing is to seek that truth uh, and to be a stronger community for all, whether they share your views or not, and to respect their different views uh, and just have peace with yourselves and with your God. Um, your next message is about action and certainly um, the action that I must commend you for is this. Uh, I saw uh, your first vision. Um, Rizwan tried very hard to get me to fund the whole of that first vision. That was a bit difficult. Um, um, and we as a council face a difficulty. But when it is a faith-based investment, it's actually very difficult for us to uh, make investments in faith institutions. But when it's of community benefit, that's a lot easier for us to do. And I think, and I hope, that when you develop your next phases of this project, we can look at how you can identify discrete elements of it that are 